Okay, let's see what this is going to do. I'm going to uh, open up Zoom It. And you can go to various ones uh, and read on, see what it tells you to do. I don't usually like doing that. I don't know what this thing keeps popping up for. Um, but anyway, if I hit Control 1, now I can zoom in on something. If I click one time, whatever the last color that I used, um, which happens in this case to be blue, is the one that's going to pop up. I thought that red was going to be the default, but apparently not. I can uh, machine around something, well, machine, draw around something if I want to. I can hit escape, that goes away. Um, control 2, if I like that. If I hit Control T, it gives me my text, large or small, by rolling my mouse in and out. And I can type something now. Hit enter to that. If I want to hit escape and control R and now control T and I can start typing something else. Um, whatever. Um, escape out of that. Control G gives me green. something with that if I like you know whatever uh, one more and it's control P I thought it was purple but I think it is um, pink hit escape control P and if I clicked here then I can type something else you know, whatever um, depends on what color your background is uh, as to what color you might want to use for your font uh, I think in this case it would be either um, blue or red would be my best choice. Alright, escape twice gets you out of everything. Um, that's that and if I go to I want to show you snipping tool for just a second. Um, I've already pulled up some silhouettes. Um, whatever I like I can go ahead and grab that. Say if I wanted this horse for example. If I go to, well, I've already got horse down here. Um, pick something else. Oh lord, there's a tiger ball. How about an elephant? If I grab a snipping tool, get rid of that. Just back up. Lost my snipping tool. Snipping tool, if it's not here, it would be under accessories. That's where you would find that. Uh, the screen grays out, so if I put a window around what I want to capture, I click it. Of course, it's going to make me wait. Looks like. There it is. Now I can go to File, Save As. Um, say, looks like I'm saving it to my desktop. That's called Capture, and I'll just hit Save. And Minimize, Minimize. All right, now if I want to machine that, I could go to, um, let's pull up my elephant, go to open, paint, and I'm going to file, save as, I'm going to save that as a bitmap, it's currently a JPEG, I have to do it as a bitmap so that I can take it to another application, which happens to be Plasma Cam. Um, where's my best one? There it is. And now if I go to File, Import, naturally it's coming up as a bitmap. If I go to Capture is what we called it. There's my elephant. If I click one time into white, next, next, next. And it takes a little bit of cleaning up to do, but there's basically there's where my elephant's going to be. Um, minimize that. One thing I was going to show you also is I, a lot of times I have so many icons out on the desktop if I can't find something and I know what the first letter is. For example, if I'm looking for um, laser cut, if I hit L, if it, where it came in at, um, control 1. See how it 
Oh, I don't like that pink. Control R. Now, it should wear the first L. Say if I'm looking for something and I know that it's auto disc inventor, I can't find it. If I hit A, oh, A, Adobe is the first one that comes up, and auto disc inventor happens to be the next one. Control 1 brings me into that. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, just playing around this afternoon, getting ready to go home and head for Mississippi. Um, let's pull that up and it's